very fond of porgies. I've had some great nights on Block Island while I've been uh, fishing around the porgy bite. And this one evolved. Yeah, they started off like this. And I actually had a porgy that swam up on the beach where we were fishing because the stripers were chasing them. And we got really good pictures of the porgy, and I really wanted to try to get a, a really uh, realistic look. This is my giant pike. It's uh, eight inches long, four inches wide. I mean, four ounces weight. And uh, I really like this size, but always looking for some uh, bigger fish. So I've been making it in a trawler. Uh, all my plugs are through wired. I make my own lips. Uh, I couldn't. I couldn't get a lip, obviously, this big to buy commercially, and I couldn't get one that I could that swam the plugs I wanted, so the way I wanted. So I started making my own lips. Um, this plug is 10 inches, and it's uh, seven and a half ounces. Um, I use hook hangers instead of swivels because. Uh, I use VMCs, and I don't like to cut the 5 O's on the bigger plugs. So I'm threading the last hook in right now. I'm very fond of the, of the, uh, the trollers. Um, I actually throw these from the beach. Um, I just got a new CTS rod that will throw up to 8 ounces and uh, I'm a wetsuiter so I can get out where the fish are and even though these metal lips aren't great casters, I'm able to get them out to, to where the fish are. Um, of course, I'm using bigger plugs you know, to entice bigger fish. I'm trying to take the smaller fish out of the equation. So I've just about got this wired up. I've got a nice bushy tail because uh, I like the way to make big tails on my plugs. So when they swim, you get a nice, nice motion. Uh, I figure if guys want to trim them, they can, but uh, you know, a pikey swims with its head down, combination of rolling back and forth, and that's uh, that doesn't look like a wounded bait fish. Uh, I don't know what does.